Hi, Alex here from Sonic Reaction Studios. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Many thanks. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour around Sakaijo, which is a free MIDI sequencer with good facilities for creating and editing MIDI sequences. It works on Windows from XP to Windows 10. I've put a link in the description to the developer's website where you can download the zip file and unzip it to a folder of your choice. So here's Sakaijo set up with my preferences and a MIDI sequence loaded. This is the main track list window giving you an overview of your song. You'll see I've named all my tracks and I have markers along the top showing where in the song I am. These are all preserved in the MIDI file. I can zoom out and in to get more or less of my song visible. If I expand this window, I can see the main parameters assigned at the beginning of each track and can adjust them if need be. I can also solo or mute individual tracks. So I'll solo the bass now and choose a different voice. Okay. Now I'll try switching on a few more tracks. Now I'll put them all on. The next window is the piano roll editor. These are the actual notes and the window below shows velocity, pitch bend, controllers, etc. You can zoom in and out just like the tracks window. You can also filter the notes by track. If I right click on a note, I can see and alter its properties. And if I select a bunch of notes, I can edit them all at the same time. There's a whole pile of options here. So let's pick velocity. Just watch this window. And you can see velocity has gone down. I'll just do a quick control Z to undo that. And now we'll look at the score window. Again, you can filter for certain tracks and zoom in and out, just like the other windows. You can also edit individual notes and groups of notes, just like the piano roll editor. The fourth window is the eventless window. I find this window very useful in setting up initial parameters for all my tracks and doing detailed MIDI editing. There are three filters on this window, a track one so you can concentrate on individual tracks, an event kind one so you can filter out events such as note data for example, and a control change number filter so you can quickly scan for particular control changes like pan, for example. Okay, that's my quick tour of Sakaijo. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.